How's it going, Internet? My name is Kali Love 707 and welcome back to another episode on subsistence. Now, today we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, the contest winner, Pam, uh, her link will be in the description below as well as the first video she uh, she played on subsistence will be in the, the description below. Um, <coughs> I got to see her play a little bit. And it looked like it, it was going good. She's getting really good at it. It's there's it's a little laggy, um, but that's fine. That's to be expected. It is a large game. Um, there is a lot of struggling and a lot of hardship to go through at first when you first start the game. So what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to go through a quick little tutorial on what you can do to survive in the game of subsistence. And uh, pretty much I'll just be cutting cutting and cropping you know this video together uh, to give you real quick explanations. No bullshit. No beating around the bush. Let's get into it. So we're gonna start off a solo game, new start a new solo game under profile two, because I don't wanna I don't wanna mess up what I, what we what blah, blah, what we have so far. So let's do this. And now I am starting a new new game. So this is from scratch. I have half health so far. I have been having some troubles with lag. I don't know why, but it's the my computer's great. Like, this game right now is running smoothly, but as soon as the video comes off of OBS, it's lagging. It's it's glitching out. It's weird. We're going to have to figure out what's going on there. But first and foremost, here's some iron. <laughs> first and foremost, sprint everywhere. Just keep sprinting, sprinting, sprinting. Like, just keep swimming, but sprinting. Um, everywhere until you find crates. There's a bear, so yes. Turn tail and run away from that bear. They do have an aggro circle. You can get reasonably close to them. They do send off a growl when they smell you, and that's another way of detecting where they are um, from you. Uh, here's the bush you were looking for. Okay? So you want to find these bushes here because they give you fiber. Fiber can be crafted into rope or cordage, as it's called in the game. And you'll need that for crafting, so pick up as much fibers as you can. There'll also be blueberry bushes around here that look almost the same as, let's see, there's one right there. As soon as you train your eye to find these bushes, you will see them everywhere. It's just a matter of finding your first few. Health bars, keep an eye out for the health bars. Those are, those pop up before they even smell you. So the next thing we're going to do right now is we're going to go off on an adventure and find some crates. Now I know you guys don't want to stick with me through the whole treacherous journey of finding all kinds of crates. Mainly what we're looking for is to build this base command unit because once you do that it gives you a beacon on the map regardless of where you die, when you die, doesn't matter. You'll always have that beacon. And for this we need four electrical components, six scrap metal, and four wooden planks. So let's get to, yeah, let's do it to it. Let's go. Scrap metal. Crate. Remember, we're looking for four electrical components. Those are the most important part. I just got one. There's another crate up there. Let's jump around, jump around, try to get that crate. Now, if I'm correct, this rock has a part where you can jump. Uh, yep, right there. All right. Let's go and grab, there's some iron right there, which we can get, but iron's really not important as I've, I've seen, you need a foundry in order to get, reap any of the benefits of this iron you might find. But you know what, collect it anyways, um, because it's good practice. You can collect it with an axe, a pickaxe is preferred. I myself haven't even had time to do any of the pickaxe action, um, so I don't know the benefits of it, but I would imagine it's either quicker or it gives you more material. See, one iron ore after all that. But that's okay, we're gonna reload our gun here because I know we have more ammo than that and continue our search for electrical components. Boom, another crate. Once you're good at it, you can spot a crate from a fucking mile away, I swear to God. Let's see what's inside this one. Remember, always listening for that growl. There's another electrical component. Always, always listening for that growl. Growl of any type, bears, ooh, look at that, shit, a bush, and a crate, oh, fuck me, I have seven shots, so I can kill this guy for food if I needed, and you know what, don't quite need it yet, so we're gonna try to sneak forward, <sighs> without him seeing us, I thought that shadow to the right was a wolf, okay, so now we have three, doing good, doing good, grab this bush here, 
Grab this bush here. These bushes are not favoring me. These bushes, sometimes you'll see a huge patch of those bushes. Sometimes you'll see a famine of those bushes. Oh, fuck. He knows I'm here. This is another bush you should look out for. Medicinal herbs. Use that to make biofuel and med kits. Another bush. All in subsistence. Bam. Alright. Let's continue looking for that last electrical component and get working on that iron and then we will build the base command unit. Let's go. There's a chicken. Don't trust chickens. Well, you can trust chickens. It just depends on what's around them. He will run you directly into that bear. Just saying. Not always, but for my luck, I'm pretty sure it's random, but for my luck, what I've seen so far is those motherfuckers always run you into something else. Because it takes a while to catch them. It takes about 30, 20 seconds or so just chasing them down to catch them. Um, and it's not very worth it. I could see if you're starving to death. Did I hear something? I can see, ooh. I can see if you're starving to death trying to catch a chicken, um, but other than that, if you're doing okay on food, just don't even risk it. Shit. Okay. So we could use a little water. You know how these go down and you're like, well, we could, use a little, we could give it a little more time, get a little lower, we don't have to drink anything right now. Why? Why not? Why not drink right now so you don't have to do it later? Let's double check what we need for the base command unit. We do need six scrap metals. We have four. Four um, electronic parts. We have three. So we're not too far off now. We just need to keep hunting for those crates. Lego. Crate. Bam! There's our last electronic component that we need for our base command unit. Now we're looking for scrap metal. Lego. Oh, heard the growl before he saw me. Another good point. He will start to stalk me in a minute if I stand here, I think, or he'll lose interest. It looks like he lost interest. We all win. Alright, let's... Heard another one. Once you hear that growl, stop what you're doing exactly and locate where the animal is. He's stalking me. He wants my nuts right away. Alright. They'll stalk you for... Whoa, what the fuck happened to him? I was about to say that they'll stalk you for a little while, but I guess they just fucking vaporize. <laughs> Not always. Always run away from those guys. Chicken. We're going to try to catch this chicken. Oh, we actually caught it without it running us into something. So don't completely disregard the chickens. Catch them if they're an easy catch. Again, keeping our eye out for crates, still running. This is not a fast process. The way that I crop this video together, it might seem like it's all going pretty fast. I am running around quite a bit, avoiding wolves and bears, until I can find a crate. Like this. Ooh, crate, right there, yeah. All right, that took me about 20 seconds from when I last talked. Ooh, I ran out of stamina. You have to be careful. Keep an eye on your stamina. Because if you run out of stamina and have like another crate, look at that, yeah. If you run out of stamina, 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 I don't know. And a bear get, I mean, you can't run, you're fucking dead. Everything you've just done is a loss. Unless you can locate your body again, which it's a lot easier when you die around your base, because of the beacon, to locate your body. So every time you die, it's not a complete loss. There's always a chance of you getting that shit back. And I think I just saw another crate. I did. I did see a crate. Always check your surroundings before you go in to unlock a crate. Bear. Again, last thing we're looking for is iron. We're trying to find that precious, precious iron. At least two more, I think. Bam! One more iron. Alright, how many do we have now? Five. I think we need six. Yes, one more will do, Jenkins. One more will do. See that shit? Do you see him? Chilling? Look what's over here, chilling. I'm just gonna let him walk that way. 
see oop I think it's another one over there and he's walking towards it so we're gonna cut our losses and go for this one over here Bam! I think he knows. He knows! Yep, he knows we're here. He's on his hind legs, but he cannot locate us yet. Damn, I just found three crates in one area. Four crates in one area, or sort of one area. That's lucky, and you will get that lucky too. You just have to be patient. Unlock it a crate, unlock it a crate, crate, crate. What'd we get? What'd we get? Oh, that's good, I guess. I mean, hell. We need that. But we still need that one more scrap metal that's going to drive me nuts. Oh, buddy. Come to daddy. Keep an eye on that wolf that was growling at us a second ago. I'm not crazy. It was there. <laughs> and we got... Good, good, good. Everything you get out of these crates, take it. Take it all. Do not leave anything behind. Good, take it. Still need that one, one iron, one or scrap metal, iron, whatevs. <laughs> Still looking for it. Let's go. Fucking around. Great. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I'm bleeding. You just keep running. As soon as you're attacked, just keep running in one direction. Do not zigzag. Just wait until you stop hearing the roaring behind you. Fuck, I don't hear it. Oh, oh, thank God. We are bleeding. Gotta get a bandage. Um, I think we can make a health. It takes, I mean, it takes biofuel and it takes those, those herbs we found, but it's completely worth it. We do need to eat, so we need to make a campfire. Eat some of these berries. Man, what a fucking wake-up call that was. See, even if you know what you're doing in subsistence, there's always that one chance you don't see the fucking bear five feet in front of you, <laughs> and you die. But, you know, that's just the way it is. So, let's eat. Kill chicken. Butcher chicken. Make a campfire. We're gonna try to do this before nighttime, because when nighttime comes, man, the game changes. It's not like you get zombies and creepers after you, oh my. No. It's just, you can't see shit. Uh, shit gets real. Oh, fuck, I still need some wood. <laughs> shit gets real. Wolves just walk right on up to you. She did have problems locating the campfire, and it's weird that it didn't put it in her inventory. Where it's gonna be is in this hot bar down here. I know, it's weird, but that's just how it works. So there it is. Bam, campfire. Place it down here, go inside the inventory. We need. It's funny how you can't put fuel in the fuel section. I guess it makes sense, right? Right? No? Maybe? What a, what a fucking view. Look at that shit. Prime spot to eat some din din. Alright. Split one match. We're only going to use one for this bitch. Mmm, chicken. Mmm, chicken. I love me some chicken. All right, we're just gonna let that cook for get for a bit. We gotta watch it though, cause just like in Rust, uh, that shit'll burn, and it will be no bueno. Remember when I said just just gotta get one chicken? Maybe you can get a chicken if you're starving. Well, here's that such case. Our food is running down. I did grab the chicken just due to precautions, you know. So while our food's cooking, we're gonna make all of this fiber into cordage. Because we don't need fiber until later on. There might be some... I, it, it, it's going right over my head right now, but you probably need fiber for some clothing or something. I can't remember. Something. Just not right now. Cook, 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 cook. We need to go. We need to go. We need to get going on a mission. On a mission. Oh, one of the things that's nice about this game is when you deconstruct something, you don't just lose it. But you don't get it all back. There's about... Ooh, chicken nom 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 nom. Sorry. There's about half the equipment that you use to build it, you get back. Well, we still got some daylight left, so 
Let's continue finding that iron, shall we? Fucking iron, fucking iron, go and find some iron. I like iron, iron builds a base, and we can die, and then we can find our body again. Iron, iron, this is the iron song. Okay. Okay. Pray. What's inside? No iron. Uh, I'll take it. We can make some rounds with seven gunpowder, seven shells, and 22 gunpowder, so let's just do that real quick. Do you see that? Do you see? You probably can't see it because of the quality, but I see it. Right above my little sight is something square. Or what looks. Oh, that's a fucking wasted round! <laughs> oh, what looks to be square. Fuck. Let's go and get it or see what it is. And a box. <laughs> See what I say about your eye being trained? That was a ways away, and I still spotted that shit. But I do have all my settings on like max, so my render distance is well a long ways. Oh look, there's another box. See, like most people won't be able to see that shit. Ooh, another box. Another what? Hmm. Okay. Let's go get those guys. Oh, and while we were going down there to get those boxes, uh, iron, sweet. We have everything we need now to build a base command unit. Let's just get what's in these boxes. Box, 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 box. Mm -mm. Good stuff. Box, 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 and good stuff. So this is the funny part. As soon as we got everything to build the base command unit, guess where we are, you guys? Come on. Go on, you can do it. You can do it again. This is the exact same spot. The fuck is that? Oh, a bush. This is the exact same spot my other base is built in the other in, in in my main series. Now, like I said before, this video, all I'm doing in this video is showing you really quickly how to build and survive in substance. Subsistence. Substance. Ah. Substance, food, subsistence, same shit. Um I don't I'm I'm torn. I'm torn. I don't know whether we should make my base right here again because it's such a great spot. There is so many things that spawn in this little field right here. So many plants. There's one right there. There's one right there. There's one right there. There's one. Well, there's those two crates and there was that iron over there. It's such a great spot. So I think this is where we'll put our base command unit. It's a great spot. If you can find this spot when you're playing, great there's other good honey holes but this is just the one that I like so this is what we're gonna do next we're gonna gather some wood since we have enough material for our base command unit which we're going to craft up right now actually we don't dun, dun, dun. We need to get some wood let's do it okay so build, to build a foundation in subsistence um, you need to do as follows take make as many wooden planks as you can whatever material you have make wooden planks Make a bunch of cordage if you can. Um, we already have a buttload of nails and we have some electrical components, which we're, those are actually going to our base command unit, so we don't have to worry about those. Eat all these berries because we need some vegetables in our system. Okay, now we're going to go over to this little house icon, wooden foundation. So we don't have enough boards yet. Now we do. And now we need a wall. These are the two things you really want to build first. A wall and a wooden foundation. We need more wood. It's almost night. My goal was to build this base before the first night hit. And it looks like we're about to do it. Alright, looks like the sun is about going down. We're almost going to make it before the sun reaches the bottom. I don't know if we will. It's going to be close. It's going to be crazy. Okay, wall. Yes, craft. Base command unit. Uh, no, we're not going to make it because we need two more. <laughs> no! Anyways, that's okay. It'll give us a sense of uh, farming in the dark, which sometimes, you guys, you might have to do. 
Let us go up to these trees here where the sun is still sort of hitting them. Okay, we do need the chem light now. We're looking. We're looking. All right, we're going to head down the hill. And hopefully we could find where we were. Okay, here's that tree. The rock should be right ahead here. I'm sure you guys can't see shit. Here's the rock. We're going to put down our foundation. Hopefully in the proper spot that we want. I want it to hang over right over this rock. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty neat. All right. Our first foundation is down. And our first wall that we're going to build is going to be right here. So we need this wall because you can't put the base command unit anywhere else instead of on one of your buildings. Um, all right, let's build some more wood boards here. And that'll do it. All right, that did it. Let's craft up the base command unit. We're about to get a base. We're about to get a base. As soon as you have this down, like I said before, it acts as a beacon. So whenever you die, it'll take about 100 seconds for the beacon to respawn once you, once you respawn. And you'll be all good. All right. We're about to put our base command unit on. And bam, there it is. Base command unit is up and running. All right, you guys. Now that we have our base command unit set up, that beacon is blaring. You see the little beacon there? No matter where you go, you'll be able to see that little dot. The next thing that you would want to do from here is take care of your hunger. You'd want to eat, get some food in your body. Here's a protein bar. We're going to eat all those. And then from here on out, just make your base better. Make it more comfortable for you to live. Another side note is, as soon as you start to build a foundation, one foundation, two foundations, you'll start to get some neighbors. Yes, there's AI in this game and they will fucking shoot you. So, you need to get loaded up, kill them. Uh, it's not too exciting, their loot's like some gun parts you can upgrade your gun, uh, guns with. Um, some food and some bullets. But it's still pretty fun to interact with somebody in this game, you're not completely lonely. You do have some AI friends to fuck up. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope, Pam, that you see this video and it helps you out a lot. If you guys liked it, please smash that like button, subscribe, and fucking be awesome. Alright, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.